Four dummies, whatever. Glutes. Oh my god, it is! Yes, I have a thigh gap. Put me in fitness jail! Boom! Tracky. For today's video! Paval, Paval method. Oh, the one loved by Victoria's Secret models. Cheers to my dear Mazarina. Mazarina, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name. Cheers to you. And to training like Victoria's Secret model for. Didn't say. We're gonna say a week. Let's do a week. If you haven't heard of P-Vol, it is deemed thigh gap. Workout tones up your inner thighs and gives you the famous, the infamous, the thigh gap. Mail time! Oh. That was real smart there, Kelty. Much success. Oh, that one is the light one. Thought it'd be the heavy one. Oh, oh, there's a workout in itself. Ooh. Oh, there's more. Cute, old school aerobics music. We rocking and rolling. The p Valve Ultimate Package. Well, hello, Stefan. Sign in at Beginner Tutorials, Kelty's workout plan. Little, little, little plan. Do, 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 do. Change into my workout gear while we're waiting. Ooh. Fancy music. The Express Series Thigh, day one. Doing is proven effective. I'm totally reading all this. Yeah, comments. Woo, read that whole thing. We're just going right to the workout. <laughs> It's like terms and conditions. I have given Apple my first born child. Do I start with the easy ones because I'm a beginner or do you know what she has degreed on? Zero to 100 fam. It's like handcuffs for your leg. What have I done to deserve this? This is called when you're only half a Fitzbo, more so a Fitzbo. They put me in fitness jail. No! Kelty drinks too much beer to be a Fitzbo. Oh, this is a wobble. This is a look. These are uh, the new Gucci slides they have uh, releasing very soon. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Day number one of the P-Volves. So move like this. Oh, goes up and down. Ah, no, I feel that in the butt. Or maybe, but I'm supposed to feel it in my thighs. Ha-ha! Oh, that could end it bad. One-legged, this bends, and it goes out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I can feel it. You said outer thighs and that. Just go back here and then just small movements. It's good because it forces your like balance and your core. Why do I get the urge to be like boom? Day one, done. I felt that deep in there. You're forcing to be balanced when you're on one foot. You have to engage those like boom. Your muscles, your glutes. On there, they only did the five exercises a few times. I would just want to do more reps personally to really feel the benefits. <laughs> Easily amused. Kelty, do you have a thigh gap? If I stand like this, yes, I have a thigh gap. If I stand like this, I don't have a thigh gap. Thigh gap, no thigh gap. I don't have the biggest legs in the world. It takes a lot for me to build muscle. I never really have a thigh gap because I just have really tiny hips. Just no hips. Kind of goes just straight down. Versus girls who have thigh gaps typically have a bit more of a curve. So it's just kind of like, think that versus straight. Honestly, I'm just going to do a second workout right now and then do the other workouts on the other days because this is like a warm up. Speaking of Gucci slap. It's a lot of time! Oh, oh, frisbee. You could play that for hours. Easily amused. Workout two. Gotta get out of this barbaric field fitness trap. I'm free! I'm free! Pros to this as well. You just need the equipment. Portable. If you're someone who does a lot of traveling, just throw in your bag. <laughs> That's what I thought. Ah, I'm working out. My arms for most of this should be like that. And you'll notice the girl and it's always like that. That's what they say. And this one's unique, just my foot positioning changes so my toes go inward. I've never seen this. I have mixed emotions with that one. I felt that in the booty. That was a hoop right up in there. Oh, that kid, that sounds inappropriate. He said this one's very inner thigh. Focusing on squeezing with my in a thighs here. The other one before is more of a squat kind of thing, like squat back, and this is more of a like a pull with my thigh. Pressing into the ground there. Kind of cool. I like knowledge of different muscles you can use. Like this, I can use my inner thigh by thinking of like sweeping with the inner part of my foot, or I can make it more like, you know, push out with my glute. 
this scratch my floor? Oh my god, it is! Oh no, it's not. She's whole. Oh, I was about to get real angry. You don't want to make him angry. <laughs> This one I definitely feel in there. One and two done. First day I definitely felt was more of my glutes and like outer thighs. Second day was a bit more of my hip flexors and inner thighs. Day three, and we got this thing. Go to ha, ha. Much. Volleyball. Flare. Woo! Sorry, neighbors. The new contraption. It's very squishy. It's not heavy. I just slip it in. And we're rocking and rolling. And also, you're supposed to have like a yoga mat for this. Um, can we point out how we just casually walked like this is normal having this on? Considering I'm a fitness YouTuber, um, uh, I don't have a yoga mat because when I moved, it got sacrificed. Wait, no! Because it was pink and I didn't really like it. We off! Save our glue from being small, flabby. Super Kelty. Off to pet all the dogs of the world. Let's do some fitness. Warning off the bat, it is very humiliating to walk around with this on. Don't walk with it on. Walk to desired map and then put it on. Save yourself a buttload of humiliation. But Kelty doesn't get embarrassed. Because your mother embarrassed her too much as a child, does she? Your issues very, really deep. And so she never gets embarrassed, but she probably does. I don't like how it says day three. Get ready for day three. By now, you should be noticing the definition of your inner thighs and outer thighs and pegging at the top of your leg. Um, day three in three months. You're not going to see results in your first week. You'll feel better. Expect it. We're going to do some glute bridges with a squeeze. And a glute bridge is one of the most effective exercises to grow in your booty, so I will agree with that. Really comfortable mat I got for doing exercise on this hardwood. I'm so smart. Kind of go up, you squeeze, and they thrust. Squeeze, thrust. I've been training like crazy for, <coughs> um, I feel like my glutes are really strong right now. So I really have to squeeze very hard. This is really awkward. <laughs> Take a minute that I'm chilling alone in my apartment just with the camera thrusting with a ball between my legs. <laughs> what is my life? This one is really confusing. So pretty much I'm like bending my legs and straightening them up to the ceiling. I feel this in a lot of places. Okay, I'm gonna put me up on. I need to start, pull apart like this. We squeeze, pull apart, down. And this will work with like a resistance band too. It's nice to have a little squeeze in the middle. I this makes sense, usually with the resistance band, I'm only feeling the resistance when I pull apart. But with the ball in the middle, it also forces me to use resistance on the way in to squeeze it. So you go in both directions instead of resistance band, it's just like tough, easy. And that's not scientific exercise science words. That's called just simplified. Fitness by a dummy. Fitness for dummies, whatever. I start with these bent, and this one straightens, and then I lift up. A little Sunday morning fun. I actually really like this ball. The exercises weren't enough for me to feel. I think it'd be good for a beginner to just learn muscle, body, connect, muscle, mind, blah, 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 connection. But now we got like a new basketball. Oh, well there. Oh, yes, my neighbors hate me. Day number four coming at you. Before. I got a new microphone. Can you hear a difference from the scene? Do you prefer this sound? Boop, boop. This is some aggressive Velcro. Kelty goes to prison. <laughs> I will never forget about my education. Where did that accent come from? I never know where they come from. Oh, I'm not flexible enough to get it all the way. I actually really like this one. I'm gonna go from like quad back to glue. This one just looks weird. Please up and still farther. Oh. This one, my trainer has me doing something like this all the time. And this is actually killer. Huh. Oh, sorry. Yes, my hand should always be like this. Oh, that is an added challenge. Here, this is just going out. Day number four, done. 
It's early. My voice is really croaky. I need caffeine. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I'm mean, gonna be honest, I came in with the mentality I was gonna rip this to shred. I'm not pro thigh gap. I don't think toning your muscles is a thing. You're building muscles or you're not. You can't just start go lifting heavy if you don't know how to properly engage muscles that are so important to your posture and core, like your glutes and your abs. But I do think it was really nice that it just targeted that deep glute and it forced me to work on that mind muscle connection and my balance. I think this is a great place to start and learn to properly engage your core and abs. If you have posture problems, improving your core and glutes, awesome thing to do. Thigh gap, it's one of those things. Work on growing your glutes. Be proud of that. Same you can earn. A thigh gap is just genetic. Body fat percentage, there's nothing glamorous. It literally is just this weird trend that people use as like a benchmark of how skinny you are. And I, I won't lie, I, I'm thin. Like I always have been. I don't have a thigh gap. But training just for a thigh gap, there's so many more fun ways to do it. I do think this is benefit for really engaging your leg muscles and core. But if you don't have a thigh gap, love yourself. If you have a thigh gap, love yourself. You shouldn't be embarrassed embarrassed by it. It's just like, it's like hip dips and all that. Why are these all things? Literally someone explained to me why these all are things. I don't get it. You might have a tiny waist. You might have some natural curve to you lady. You might have a six pack easier than anyone. You might have really strong calves or someone who's never done calf raises because that was the genetics I was given. Really strong calves. Yeah. Secretly always scared. Boy's gonna try and wife me up just to get my calf genetics. <laughs> we all have our strengths. I love you. You're amazing. Embrace your body. Submit the next video you want to see me do. If I draw it out of here, you'll win a prize. Cheers to you, my dears. Have a fabulous day. I love y'all. Bye. Go pet a dog. You're beautiful.